Hello, we are the Dice Academy Junior STEM Science Club. I'm Aiden. Hi, I'm Carol. And I'm Nathan. And we, and we are here to show our entry for the BT Ultimate STEM Challenge. The BT Ultimate STEM Challenge is about helping people to survive in difficult environments. We have chosen to build a solar still to make clean drinking water available to flood victims. We have a long term project to build a search and rescue hovercraft for flooded areas and with a kit and instructions for our solar still will be one of the many hovercraft's equipment. We have chosen to build it our still from readily available household household objects because most people should be able to make work for themselves with the instructions. It is cheap and easy to size up or down as needed. The design is easily adaptable to the items you have to hand. Here are the items required for the still. A bucket or saucepan with a black plastic bag to for hygiene reasons. Um, kitchen foil, which is optional, a tight fitting lid, a small container for the clean water, string or wool for the wicks, some small heavy objects, weights or something like that to weigh the um, tub down, and a satellite dish or mirror or other object for a reflector, and some rubber tubing, which is optional. We are now going to put it together. This is your black bag, black metal bin, or our black bag to go into. For hiding purposes, we choose a black bag so it can be reusable, and the inside of the metal bin is not left to get dirty for the next user. We need to make sure it's right underneath the bag. Here we have a colander to filter out most of the larger impurities. As you can see, we've been able to filter out most of the larger impurities in the mix. We now have to add our clean, safe drinking container with, as Nathan mentioned before, with our stones to hold down just in case the water makes it float. We then have, a, have our lid with rubber tubing, also like the metal bin, to keep it tight. Our wicks for directing the water once it condenses under weight to make, it, to make the direction more easier. We have our, also have our rubber tubing for in and out purposes. We have our sun, which will be reflected by this reflector that we designed and that's supposed to keep the heat rays in near the bucket so that the water evaporates faster. <coughs> in other ways, you could use a, a parabolic mirror or a satellite dish with thin foil on it. The sun warms the dirty water through the black bag and metal bucket. The lid vapour rises condenses on the lid. The wick attracts the vapour and guides it down the clean walk to the water collector. And the water is ready to drink. So to sum up, our design is readily available to household objects, can be easily sized up or down as needed. It is easy to build, requiring the middle of tools. It can save lives of a small family by providing clean drinking water. And thank you for your time, and we hope you've enjoyed our presentation.